I got hired to be a cat boy at Anime Expo. Hello, and if you're not familiar with me, my name is Joey. I'm a part-time cosplayer and VTuber, and I was invited by the lovely team at Bishy Pro Studio to cosplay their original characters at Anime Expo. I would be cosplaying Shiroki, one of the cute cat boy twins. My friend Bambi would be Kuroki, the other twin. Naturally, I was very excited and I agreed immediately, but of course, I don't live in California, so we had to make our way there by plane. I have done similar jobs like this before for the Genshin Impact booth at Anime Expo in 2022, but I was particularly excited for this event because I love the works from this studio. After arriving in LA, we immediately fell asleep because we had gotten there so late. So the next morning, we had to immediately jump into gear and get into cosplay around 4am. Here you can see the outfit I was wearing. The jacket was altered by my friend Bambi to be based off the techwear outfits the twins had. Following that, we made our way to the exhibitors hall and I am just absolutely floored by how much cool stuff there was at this anime expo. As I'm walking here, you'll see all kinds of booths like the Nikkei booth, the Billy Billy booth, and the Blue Lock booth. Look at all this cool stuff. I even found the Omo Cat booth before things got too crowded. I mean, everything is just insanely cool and it's nice to be able to look at things before they get swarmed by people. We even got the Gojo box here. Yo, i more. As you can see here, this is the Bishy Pro booth. It's something I would describe as a cute boy emporium. So you're wondering, what do you even do as a cosplay guest at a booth like this? Well, your job is to stand there and bring people to the booth and take photos, hand out flyers, and generally just interact with guests. You're, you're kind of eye candy. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I got to interact with a lot of super cool fans and attendees at this con. Uh, thank you to those that took photos and took time to chat with me, but I was also giving out handmade bracelets for free. By Friday, I was practically already running low, but it was fun. I, I, even though I was running low, I got to do this cute little handshake before you were able to receive the bracelet. During my breaks, I got to walk around and explore the con for a bit, and I can honestly say there were so many amazing booths and guests at this con, I was completely blown away. After our shifts ended, we were able to visit the Cloverworks panel, which I was very excited for because I had been looking forward to the Elusive Samurai anime for this season. Um, but something super cool happened where the producers, I believe for Windbreaker, came out and wanted photos with my friends and other cosplayers, so I kinda just stood there in awe and took footage for the vlog. So the first day is a bit anticlimactic because I just went back to the hotel and slept, but on to Friday! I saw this cool Honkai Star Rail booth and walked a bit around in the Artist Alley on my shift break. Which, speaking of Artist Alley, I met a really amazing community member who had given me so many cute gifts and had their friend, the artist of this booth, draw me on this shikishi board. I even got to sign it, so I'd like to ask everyone please check out this artist, they were so kind to me and I'm super grateful, this was just such a cool experience. Uh, this here is a POV, you're Joey and trying to squeeze through the crowds but you're way too short. <laughs> Um, I had some downtime, so I visited the Kotobukiya Pishoujo series booth as well. There's just so many cool figures on display. And then here I am back at the booth again. Um, here's just some footage of some of the items that were sold. They're just so cute. I need you guys to see them. <laughs> and this is me resting my feet, taking a break because I didn't realize that wearing four inch platform shoes would make my feet hurt so badly, but that's on me. One super cool thing about Anime Expo is all the Japanese voice actors that they bring here. I got to see Nobunaga Shimazaki at the Twisted Wonderland talk panel and oh my god, uh, it was amazing. I don't know if there are any Twisted Wonderland fans, but Lilia is my favorite and I got to see so much content there. After that, I walked a little bit more and played around in the Nui plushie booth. How cute is that? And then we made our way to the entertainment hall. This was my first time stepping foot into this area and oh my god, there's there's just so much stuff. How many times can I say this? There's so much stuff. We stopped by the Sanrio booth and we got to see Hello Kitty. This was such a surprise. She's so cute. And um, here's some other footage of the 
Hong Kai and Genshin Impact routes as well. After we wrapped up our shift, it was finally time to get a real meal. I hadn't eaten an actual meal in like a hot minute, so this Korean food was just so delicious. And immediately after, it's right to bed because we have to get ready for Saturday of Anime Expo. Here's the makeup for today, and at this point, I was definitely feeling the fatigue set in, but we march on. Foot traffic was a bit low in the morning, so we set on exploring more of the exhibit hall. Anime Expo just kind of feels like it's never ending with things to see. We even stopped by the Billy Billy booth and I got to see some of the really cool link click stuff. So, right after this was the thing I was looking forward to the most. The Black Butler panel. I hadn't even known about this until the day before, and I set my goal on making it there early to get a good seat. So, I made my trek, and of course, I had to walk past the Jesus protesters. Which, after that, I finally reached my destination. While I can't show footage of when the panel started, being able to see the voice actor of Sebastian Onodaisuke and Connor was just... I can't even put it into words. I'm such a big Black Buckler fan and crybaby, so I teared up way more times than I should have. But of course, the panel had to eventually end. So I made my way back to the artist alley and stopped by the Ensemble Stars booth, which was really cool. I had my boba, and then I waited for my Uber to come and get me. I had a dinner right after with my friend Ray, so I wanted to get dressed up in time. We ended up having a really delicious omakase sushi dinner, but the night wasn't over just yet. I made a stop at the JW Marriott to have some drinks and hang out with my friends. A lot happened that night, and uh, let's just say I ended up paying $200 for drinks. Yeah. Well, at least it was a fun time. The day after that, we take a quick trip to Little Tokyo and explore. By the time, this is Sunday. I got curry rice for breakfast and then some yummy yuzu ice cream for dessert. I was also able to stop by the Sanrio store and, oh my god, just, just look how cute everything is. I, I just wanted it all, but my wallet didn't. <laughs> we even did some gacha gacha, though I got nothing that I wanted. And again, with the Korean games, I got nothing. I guess my luck is just awful. Stop by some more cute stores like Kinokuniya, and then wind it down for the day. Now, please enjoy this montage of all the cute stores that I saw. So, let's just take a quick pause here. I was supposed to go home this Sunday. However, there was a giant hurricane in my area that, well, led to my flight being canceled twice. So, what can you do? Go eat K-Barbecue to make everything better. I got some K-Barbecue with my friends that I hadn't seen in a while, and, well, you know what else makes the agony of being stuck in LA better? Drinking on a rooftop. We spent some time just chilling before deciding that we wanted to do karaoke, and... Yeah, I hope you can imagine how drunk karaoke went. Anyways, we got a hotel safely, but had to stay the Monday in LA as well. So of course, I do therapy shopping to help me cope. More cute stores. I got myself a rose crepe as well, and then we wandered around Little Tokyo for a bit before returning back to our hotel room to relax with some bluey. Finally, Tuesday, the final dawn. I'm finally going home. We had to make a layover in Ohio, but honestly, I will take whatever I can get to get home. At least while I was in Ohio, the nice lady at Potbelly gave me some free pickles when I asked. And well, that's pretty much the end of my trip in LA. I stopped filming once I got back because we didn't have any power and I was just dead tired at this point. I hope at the least you guys enjoyed this type of vlog content and follow me around for my adventure. Anime Expo 2024 had felt a lot better than the past anime expos I had gone to. It was filled with amazing guests, booths, and artists and I can honestly say I had a pretty good time. 
For the people that stop by to say hello, bring me gifts, or take photos, I cannot thank you enough. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being so kind to me, and thank you to Bishy Pro Studios as well for making this happen. By the way, if any of you are interested, I've got some merch up for sale right now that you can get from the link in the description. With all of that being said, thank you for sticking around, and I'll be sure to make more vlogs of wherever the wind takes me. So thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time.